Tonight, pretty stunning video raising a lot of questions, especially for people in East Palestine, Ohio. As you can see, sparks and flames underneath this Norfolk Southern train, and this was 20 miles before it derailed. The derailment, as we all now know, sent dangerous chemicals into the air and forced thousands of people from their homes for days. Now the question is, when did the crew know that there was a problem? This video obtained by our news partners at the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette was taken by a security camera at an equipment manufacturing plant in Salem, Ohio, some 20 miles from East Palestine. You can see what appear to be sparks or flames under one of the cars as it passes the plant. The NTSB referenced the video at a news conference earlier this week. We uh, have attained two videos which show preliminary indications of mechanical issues on one of the rail car axles. That second video came from a processing plant a mile down the track also in Salem. In front of that plant is a hot box detector which scans the temperature of the axles as the train passes and sounds an alert if they're overheated. The crew did receive an alarm from a wayside de defect detector shortly before the derailment indicating a mechanical issue. Then an emergency brake application initiated. The NTSB says there was an alert, but it is not known if it came from the hot box detector in Salem or the next one down the track 20 miles away in East Palestine, where that derailment happened. And if the alert wasn't triggered when the train passed Salem, why not? I spoke today with a retired Norfolk Southern engineer, Scott Wilcox, who lives in Avonmore. How would that person know there was an issue? Generally speaking, after the length of the train has passed over the detector, it will tell you there are no problems found. The NTSB has obtained the train's data recorder and audio recordings. Those are being analyzed at an NTSB lab in Washington, D.C. Now, the agency is also checking whether all the detectors were working properly. If the detector in Salem was working and there was no issue, Wilcox says generally it will send a message saying no problem found. The NTSB is expected to release its preliminary findings within 30 days.